This tutorial takes a look at the new deployment process in BizTalk 2006. Quicker, faster, easier than ever before. In BizTalk 2004, if we had a solution like this that had multiple BizTalk projects, we'd have to be concerned that when we go through deployment, what's the order they need to be deployed in, if there's some sort of dependency, we would have to, of course, deploy each one separately, and then like over here in BizTalk Explorer, we'd be faced with many, many artifacts, all the assemblies themselves, all the orchestrations, the send ports, receive locations, everything all jumbled together, and no way of really grouping them or seeing what is dependent upon what unless we had used a naming schema that was giving us some sort of idea like they did here with AdventureWorks. So now in BizTalk 2006, we have the capability of deploying an entire solution. And ideally, we're deploying all the projects of that solution to a new container called an application. So it's a new property of these projects that we specify the application name that we'd like them to be deployed to. So in this solution, if all the projects have the same application name, we deploy the solution, all the projects will be deployed to that application. And now in the new BizTalk Server 2006 Administration Console, we can see these applications. We can see down here SQL Adapter Application, and if we expand it, we can see all the artifacts that would be part of this BizTalk solution. Not just the orchestrations that we defined within those projects, but also all the send ports or receive ports or receive locations that we've created over here that will be utilized by those orchestrations. Moreover, if we had created anything that had to deal with business activity services or say with business rules, we would see those artifacts as well contained within this single application. So this application is not only a container that helps us organize or keep track of all those artifacts that are dependent upon each other, but it's also a deployment unit. I can right click and say export to an MSI start up this wizard and as I walk through the steps specify you know hey yes these are all the projects that I want or the assemblies that I want these are the bindings that I want are there any special settings that I need in IIS or say there are references that I've made to external assemblies all of that will be summarized here in the wizard I then decide, you know, say a name that I want to give the application when it's deployed to, we'll imagine in this case deployed to our production server. And then of course, click a button and all of it is magically summarized to a single MSI file. If we then went over to the production environment, we could choose then import and simply point to that MSI file, walk through the wizard, and everything would be cleanly installed for us on that destination system. So now our deployment process is down to a matter of three steps or so from however many they were before in BizTalk 2004.